Bitcoin on the daily chart looking crazy bullish. And a lot of people, especially all coin holders, might be asking the question, is Bitcoin going to outperform altcoins this cycle, this bull cycle, because of the supply shock that's happening with Bitcoin, the ETF attention? I'm going to just right from the beginning of the video just say, no, I don't think so. That's my opinion. But the purpose of the video is to specifically show you from a data perspective why I don't think that is going to happen. And in fact, I think altcoins are going to be incredibly dominant this cycle. So please hit the subscribe, hit the like, turn notifications on, and let's just jump into the video. This is Bitcoin on the daily. It really does. Look, Bitcoin, we've been tracking, has been doing something it's never done in cycles past. Even this rectangle that you see here, breaking those bull market doors, it happened, it happened way earlier this cycle than it ever has. It's pre-having that this move is happening. That's never happened before. Speaking of the bull market doors, for altcoins, this is, what we're, this is what we're going to be using as a main indicator. It's bull market high to bear market low. It's that green area. Bitcoin just broke through. It's a lower high. Fibonacci retracement, a resistance area. It's a multi-cycle bullish confirmation, right? So here's what it looks like breaking those doors last cycle. The reason I track this isn't just for Bitcoin to know, hey, where, where's Bitcoin at in these cycles? I would say the bigger reason why I track this is because the indicator that it provides for altcoin markets. And that's what I want to show you in this video. Yes, Bitcoin is making an absolute power move right now, breaking through those, those doors. And altcoins seem like they're kind of been lagging a little bit. But let me just tell you before I show you, this happens every cycle. This is exactly what happens every cycle. Before we dive into the altcoin charts, I do want to just show you something. This is a Bitcoin dominance chart. We're talking about Bitcoin dominance. Is it going to do something crazy this cycle? Just notice on this monthly chart, Bitcoin, even with what just happened, has not even broken this range that it's basically in. It hasn't even broken the swing high that it had back here in December. So Bitcoin's actually still ranging from this recent multi-month area. And if we actually look at Bitcoin in cycles past, when the Bitcoin bull market doors get broken, which just happened, Bitcoin dominance is about to top off and then start falling into altcoin season. So if anything, from a data perspective, we're getting close to altcoin season, but there are some indicators to watch in regards to if it's going to happen. So just notice before we hop over to the altcoin charts, look at the lower highs on Bitcoin dominance every cycle. Dominance has been falling for Bitcoin. There is a massive interest in altcoins. And yeah, Bitcoin ETF has this whole ETF narrative right now. The Bitcoin spot ETF is here. It's not even a narrative. I got to stop saying that. It is happening. There is a supply shock happening because of the demand in the ETFs. But guess what? Institutions, they're already, they're already in altcoins. And when it comes to altcoin markets, there's going to be an incredible interest there. So I think the long-term story of Bitcoin dominance falling is going to continue. And even if, even if right now Bitcoin dominance makes a move to the upside, that would be the most normal thing that happens, right? So notice this. November 2020, Bitcoin bull market doors broken. Look at December 2020, Bitcoin dominance kept going, a really nice candle. But that was it. And it was a lower high on the macro. So this swing high right after Bitcoin bull market doors were broken in January 2017, this, this not even swing high, but this consolidation area for Bitcoin dominance to swing low, that's the bull market happening. This Bitcoin dominance falling is the, is the altcoin season happening. Then we enter a bear market and dominance starts rising to a lower high Fibonacci, right? And then from that area, the Fibonacci right here after the last bull market doors to the last altcoin season, the last bull market into the bear market, there's room for Bitcoin dominance to continue to upside a little bit. Even right now, that would be normal. Now let's look at some altcoin charts. I'm going to use ADA and Ethereum. ADA, you all know, I really understand these charts. I've studied them very closely for years. And Ethereum also, but not only that, Ethereum just has a lot of, a lot of data in terms of cycles for Bitcoin. So let's do this and let's start with ADA. If we look at ADA right now, I would just want to point out because we're using bull market doors as this foundational indicator. Bull market doors right now have been broken. This is what the weekly candle on ADA looks like. So I want to point two things out to you. 
what the weekly candle looks like, as well as where we are in the cycle. So this is the halving. This is Bitcoin halving over here, right? So this red box kind of just gives you an idea of last Bitcoin halving right here and where ADA was in the red box then. So let's just note this. <laughs> Bull market doors broken within the red box and ADA is doing what it's doing. Last cycle, the bull doors were broken way after halving, right? And ADA, if we look at the actual move, was actually just on the weekly, not really doing much. And then finally, it had this breakout, little breakout area, right? And what's so interesting to me about this, and we've been tracking this anyway, this move in ADA last cycle that's happening, right? This kicked off the bull market for ADA, right? Once this entire region was broken, ADA went parabolic. The move right now, this time around, is so similar for ADA. And, it's, and I don't know if it's going to play out the same and ADA is actually going to break through and make this breakout right now, but the move is so similar. But the point is this. Look at how similar ADA is just interacting with the bull market doors. The move is, if not exactly similar, the move is even actually a little bit more bullish on this chart. You see this weekly candle when Bitcoin bull market doors are breaking. Bitcoin bull market doors, if I zoom in here, you see this red weekly candle of that week. Uh, ADA wasn't, wasn't moving, right? And then we see the 16th right here. There's the nice green candle. Well, we're get, it seems like we're getting ADA moving to the upside a little bit sooner. And we're, really, we're talking about really a zoomed in move here. But look at the similarities. And not only that, it's all happening prior to the halving. And not only that, not only that, everybody, when, when Bitcoin bull market doors were broken last time, ADA, in terms of price, currently is up 600% from last time this occurred. Now, in a separate video, in terms of ADA, I'm going to discuss the question because I know a lot of people are thinking this. Man, last time, like Bitcoin, last time Bitcoin was at 60 some thousand dollars, you know, and, and we can look at it on a zoomed out chart, on a zoomed out weekly chart. Last time, or daily chart, last time Bitcoin was at 60,000 in October 2021, ADA, let's see, October 2021, where are we? October 2021, ADA was at, you know, two, over $2. So what's going on? I'm going to answer that question in an ADA video probably later today or tomorrow. So make sure you have notifications on for that. And there's a very simple explanation. But the point is, ADA is way more powerful right now in this point of the cycle, happening earlier this cycle and it's up 600% from last cycle. Now, if we go, to, go over to ETH, or actually, you know, before we hit, hit ETH, I, do, I, wanted, I want to show you something. In terms of ADA BTC, that's the whole question here, ADA versus BCC, ETH versus BTC, Solana versus BTC, whatever. Bull market doors broken. Last time when the bull market doors were being broken, ADA was in the middle of bottoming out. Right now, ADA is in the middle of bottoming out. What's so bullish about it, once again, I can't stop saying this, it's before the Bitcoin halving. It's not after the Bitcoin halving. So ADA is doing its thing. It's consolidating. You have the 20-week moving average just interacting with the 50. If we zoom in here, you can actually just see it looks like it's actually just crossing. And, you know, it's insane how big of a shift that is from a cycle perspective. The meaning of a shift like that in terms of bear market to bull market is massive. So that's ADA BTC doing exactly what it has done in the last cycle, revolving around the Bitcoin bull market door indicator. And then we have Ethereum. So Ethereum, the same story. You look at this. Here's bull market doors. Look at the power move on Ethereum. Many people are just kind of like, man, Ethereum hasn't even been moving that much. It's not as powerful. And yeah, there's diminishing returns every cycle for all of these coins. So the power moves do become a little bit less. But look at this. Bull market doors being broken for Bitcoin. This cycle, look at the Bitcoin bull market doors being broken last cycle. A little bit flat in that week or two when, when, when it happened. And then Ethereum broke out, very similar to, to ADA. So the thing, about, uh, the thing about Ethereum, if we go to the ETH BTC chart, check this out. This is Ethereum on the BTC versus BTC chart. Every cycle so far, even this cycle, Ethereum from when the bull, Bitcoin bull market doors have been broken. And now we're going back to 2016 halving. 
post having Ethereum, every cycle has increased in dominance versus Bitcoin. So 160% from 2017 to around 2020, doors being broken. And then from the 2020 doors being broken to now, these Bitcoin bull market doors being broken, another almost 100% increase in dominance. If there's any chart besides that Bitcoin dominance chart and Bitcoin dominance falling, if there's any chart that really expresses how or shows how Bitcoin dominance versus altcoins over the long term will weaken, it's this, it's this Ethereum chart. Especially because Ethereum is just a top 10 blue chip crypto and it has all of this data on it and you see this increased just strength in Ethereum versus BTC over the cycles. And so even right now, you can see, to even answer that question once again, is Bitcoin dominance going to outperform? I mean, look at this. Bitcoin breaking the bull market doors last cycle. Look at Ethereum. It actually went lower against BTC. So yeah, dominance right now for Bitcoin, it, it, has, it has the upper hand, right? It could even over the next month have the upper hand. Look at the month after Bitcoin breaks the bull market doors. Ethereum fell versus Bitcoin, okay? Even, even back here, went up a little bit and fell a little bit. So there's a case where in the next month, ETH BTC can fall a little bit. You go over to ADA BTC, it could fall a little bit. But at the end of the day, when Bitcoin is breaking those doors, right? And we have the halving and we enter these cycles, these bull market cycles, the parabolic bull market cycles. This is the Bitcoin dominance chart. When this happens, Eventually, Bitcoin tops out and starts falling against altcoins in altcoin season in the bull market. That doesn't mean Bitcoin price stops going up. It just means altcoins outperform Bitcoin in terms of percentage gains. And I think that's getting ready to happen. So yeah, there's more upside potentially in play for Bitcoin. I, I, I would use the entire Fibonacci all the way up to 65% on dominance. 60 to 65%, lower high. But then after that, after having, I truly think that altcoins will, will dominate. And I could be wrong. Maybe it is different this cycle. It, it may be, right? But this entire thing is my opinion, and I'm using data to express why I think this. We'll see what happens. Nobody knows what will happen, but these are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, everybody. Appreciate you cruising through. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.